There is no secular argument against adult consensual incest. There's a religious argument. Sex cannot enter family life. If my father had said to me, you know, Dennis, the world is better because you are in it. I would have uh, believed that uh, even though he was never drunk, that he was actually drunk. Female homosexual is a much more complex issue because female sexuality can go in all directions. There's no secular argument against adult incest. Brother and sister want to make love? What's your argument? That they're going to produce mentally offspring? It's nonsense. It takes many generations of inbreeding to do that. If you need religious doctrine to dissuade you from having sex with your siblings, you might have a problem. You might have a problem. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, is incest that bad? It seemed like that's the question Dennis Prager was debating on his radio show. You should have him back on making, to debate that. I mean, the guy, by the way, after the debate, Literally the next day, he was complaining about me on his radio show. And oh, yeah. one of our neighbors who listens to him, unfortunately, was like, Dennis Prager saying mean things about you on his radio and show. I'm like, is. yeah, he should. I crushed him. You seem well, to why, push why do you, your okay, values do you, and you your you views disparity? on relationships onto other people. And what I'm trying to get you to understand is rather than making generalizations about what's best for women, maybe allow women, allow people to live their lives as they see fit, have a belief system right. as they so, see fit. Okay. Why do you feel the so need I to have... force your beliefs onto other people? Okay. What is wrong with these people? Well, I think that we were born broken. <laughs> we weren't born and raised in the normal way where you are filled with a burning lust for your family members that only Judeo-Christian values can briefly stop you from acting on, I guess. But also, you'll notice that in his hypothetical, he was gonna say something about the sexual joining of brother and sister. And there are many ways you can refer to two people engaging in intercourse. He chose if a brother and sister make love. Oh God, just it's uh, of all of the ways. There's like you chose the romantic look at that. one. Heebie-jeebies, <laughs> lots of heebie-jeebies going on. It's so disgusting. Why is he talking about this? By the way, you gotta fill time. That school sign that I saw, schoolroom sign that I saw in the New York Times. The world is better because you are in it. I don't know what grade it was, I, I assume something like fifth grade. What a stupid message. Plus, it's, it's not true. What has any fifth grader done to have made the world better because he or she is in it? So that is Dennis Prager, a guy who is infuriated by a picture that he saw hanging on a wall in a school. And it sort of makes sense that he'd be sensitive about what goes on in school since he is the leader of PragerU, a literal fake school. But anyway, while it's pathetic and it makes him look absolutely terrible, people online had a lot of fun with his embarrassing comments. SDL tweeted the average fifth grader adds more to the world in a day than Dennis Prager in a lifetime. And I don't think it takes a full day, by the way. I think by the time they break for lunch, the fifth graders passed him. People generally like kids. <laughs> they think that they bring sunshine and happiness into their lives. But for Prager, that's an unthinkable thought. Like, you have no value. The world's not better because you're in it. Are you insane? Like, you, have you ever had kids or grades? I, I have a, 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 a daughter who's in third grade, uh, fourth grade, I should say. <laughs> She's watching, she's like, Obama. Anyway, and I have a son who's in seventh grade. What have they done to make the world better? Did they exist? I love them. I think they're amazing. They made the world so much better for me, my family, everybody that knows them. What I'm not buying it yet, Cenk. Like? You're talking about like feelings and stuff, and your worth in the world doesn't care about your feelings. What have they produced? What products and services have they made? The man got a lot of fifth grader envy. I mean, that's what I picked up. He, want, he wants to be a fifth grader. He hating on the fifth grader because he's not a fifth grader. John in Chardon, Ohio says homosexuals are born that way and they're children of God. They certainly are children of God. And I think uh, male homosexuals 
uh, are largely born that way. I don't think that it's uh, genetic, but it might be hormonal in the womb. Female homosexuals are a much more complex issue because female sexuality can go in all directions. Some are indeed like that, but many are not. That's why you hear often of actresses who say, oh, now I'm gay, and then they end up 10 years later marrying a man. You don't see that with gay men. Could it be that society is a lot more friendly toward women who might want to experiment with their sexuality and not so friendly toward men who might want to experiment with their sexuality. Impossible. So, yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that we potentially could talk about. Uh, to be clear, he doesn't care. <laughs> um, so people aren't just either straight or gay. They could be bi. They could be a whole bunch of different things. And the percentage of each gender identity that has a particular sexual identity doesn't necessarily have to be constant across gender identities. It could be that there are differences between men and women, genetic differences or behavioral differences or social acceptance differences and those sorts of things. Um, it's 100% true that as you said, the, the response is different. Um, but, but also like even a willingness to identify yourself, for instance, as bi. Men who call themselves bi are not treated the same as women who call themselves bi, which definitely is gonna influence a person's willingness to identify in that way. But more important than any of this, which is interesting societally and in terms of anthropology and genetics and all that, who cares what the reason is? Let people smash who they wanna smash and leave them alone. Could Dennis Prager just treat gay people's sexuality the way gay people treat his? They are not interested remotely. They don't wanna know anything about it, the less heard the better.